this is amazing now you can see my comments are getting automatically categorized so it could be your own spreadsheet the ai goes through every single row and automatically categorizing the sheet so the ai is going to read every single row from google sheets and then automatically categorizing based on what the content in each row is all about you can also do this with your open source large language model running locally on your computer with zero cost that's exactly what we're going to see today let's get started hi everyone i'm really excited to show you about automatically categorizing your text in google sheets i'm normally getting hundreds of comments on my youtube channel every single week i need an efficient way to categorize this to understand what people are thinking about this content and if there is any question i need to answer so i created this tool which automatically goes through every single comment of mine and then categorize that accordingly in that way i can understand what people are thinking about the content and where i should improve this also could be applicable for your own business if you want to improve from people's feedback i'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this but before that i regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my youtube channel so do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you first go to google cloud console create an account first go to api and services there click enable apis and services there you can go to google sheets api and enable the api once that is enabled let's search for credentials and you can see api credentials click on that click create credentials and click service account there you can just provide a service account name and your service account id will automatically generate it there you can enter your service account name that will automatically give you a service id this is important we'll copy and we'll be using this to provide access to google sheets next click create and continue now in choose a role you can just choose editor you might need to choose role carefully based on your requirement once after that click continue and click done now you can click your service account there you can see keys click on that you can add a key create a new key this will automatically recommend json choose that and click ok make sure you keep the key securely the key is in my downloads folder so i'm going to rename that to key.json to make it simple now i can see that key.json is in my downloads folder and this is the path of my downloads folder so i'm taking a note of my path and here is the full path first we need to get access to google sheets to do that this is the file in my google sheets i'm going to click share but now enter the email address which we created earlier that's the service account enter that in this box and then click send now the access got updated first setting up our large language model second we are going to set up google sheets and finally we are going to automatically categorize in our terminal pip install google api python client oauth to client and gspread and then click enter gspread is the main package which can access google sheets now let's create a file called app.py and let's open it first input os open ai gspread service account credentials so the first step is to set up the large language model so we are going to use open ai's package to use olama so this is the olama endpoint and we are providing a random key now step number 2 set up google sheets so this is where we are going to use the spreadsheet id then providing the scope that is to access google drive next we are reading the credentials so you can see this is the location my key.json is you might need to change this based on where you have saved your key next we are going to authorize and now we are going to open the google sheet using the key so step 2 completed now step 3 define the function to automatically classify comments so now we are creating a function here we are mentioning the model name llama2 so we are giving a system message you are a helpful assistant designed to classify comments into neutral request question appreciation error other must respond with one word ultimately i have a list of comments which i need to categorize automatically so we are providing some examples for the large language model like few short prompting that means we provide some examples this video was really helpful and that is the appreciation can you explain how quantum computing works that is the question please create a video on how to use and that is a request there is an error in the code that is an error so i'm going to categorize my comments based on these examples 
and the response from the large language model is stored in the response variable. And finally, we are returning the category. Now step three completed. Now we are going to run the classification process. That means we are getting the values from Google Sheets. Then we are mentioning the header. Come on to exclude the header. Next, we are going to iterate over each row that contains comments. To do that, I'm going to go through a loop. This is going to go through each row and then classify comment. So that's the function which we created earlier here. So we are calling that function and passing the comment. So when we send the comment inside the function, this will return with the category. And we are saving that category in Google Sheets again and printing out the log for our reference. Finally, we are just mentioning all comments have been classified and updated in Google Sheets. That's it. Just simple steps. First, you're setting up your large language model, then setting up Google Sheets. Thirdly, you are setting up the function to automatically categorize. And finally, we are running the process. Now I'm going to run this code. Export your OpenAI API key. This is a fake key, so it doesn't need to be actual because we are using a large language model which is running locally on your computer. Next, export your spreadsheet ID like this and then click enter. To find your spreadsheet ID, you can go to your navigator bar and this is your spreadsheet ID. Just copy this from one to K. Once after you export your spreadsheet ID, now you're ready to run your application. But before that, make sure you have downloaded Olama in your computer and downloaded Llama 2 by typing Olama pull Llama 2. Now we can type Python app.py and then click enter. I can see it's started working. Now you can see it's getting automatically categorized. This is amazing. Now you are able to run this completely locally on your computer with zero cost. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.